Sanaz was just 13 when she was told she was going to get married to a man she'd never met before, a stranger who lived in Afghanistan. I was scared. It was like, you need to go ahead with it or there'll be consequences. I'd never spoken to a boy, let alone kissed a boy. I'd lived a really sheltered life. I didn't know what to expect. Her reaction was to try and escape. So she took an overdose, hoping the doctors would help her, but it didn't work. When I got home, I got physically chastised because I'd taken the overdose. They said you'd brought shame on us as a family. Fearing for her future, Sanaz ran away from home. I knew once I'd walked out of that house, I wouldn't see anyone again. So that was a decision I made at 13. If I'm walking out, I have to keep walking and going. Sanaz's story is not unusual for many young girls in the capital. Forced marriage became an offence in 2014, and since then there have been 491 incidents of it reported to the Metropolitan Police. But we've obtained figures which show despite this, the rate of people being charged with forced marriage offences is dropping, from 16% in 2014 to zero last year, and there has still never been a conviction in London. It's thought one reason is because many young victims feel isolated and too afraid to report it. Young people do not want to criminalise their parents. If you ask a young person what do they want as an outcome, they want to be in a place of safety, they don't want to be forced into a marriage, but they don't want to give evidence against their parents. My objective and my team's objective is to make sure that person is safe, that young person is safe. Forced marriage is classed as child abuse and mainly prevalent in African and South Asian communities. Some charities have been calling for it to be part of the national curriculum for years. Last month, the government announced that it would be. But schools like this one in Hackney have already been teaching it for some time. We are talking really about you as a generation of young people making a difference and saving your best friend's life. Hundreds of people in our capital are forced into marriage and the average age of a perpetrator is a 22-year-old man that's been born and brought up in the UK. So we're stopping these young people becoming perpetrators in the future. It's absolutely essential this is taught and the curriculum is very busy but this will help save lives. It will raise awareness to people who maybe don't have a lot of insight about things or they don't know the difference between arranged marriage and forced marriage. People should be aware of what's happening around the world. Like, if it happens to them, then they know what they should do. They definitely have to make it a curriculum, you know, to put it out there, you know, to start diminishing it, you know, to stop, to stop it. Sana spends much of her time now going into schools to educate others, but says the reality of what could have happened to her is still very prevalent in her mind. My dad told me, if I find you, I'm going to kill you. Them words resonate with me. But I feel like I was one of the lucky ones.